Okay, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Kakadash. Double honors to our apostles, our elders, a great millstone, our apostles, a great millstone. And peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. Uh, Shalom, this is again, I want to do a quick video here on uh, the news. I've been watching brothers' videos on it about ISIS and Trump leaving Syria. All right, what seems like uh, it's being spun here on Sputnik um, as a victory for Trump and for Russia. And it is a victory for Russia, okay? Because America is set against Russia, as the scriptures say. Okay? It's, it's the main... The main destroyer of America is going to be Russia in the thermonuclear war. And Trump pulling out of Syria is him, America, admitting defeat. Okay, and I got this really good article here, actually. This is continued American occupation. Just a lot. Continued... This is on Zero Hedge. Uh, continued American occupation of the Middle East does not suppress terrorism. It causes it. It says, even the neocon warmongers, House Journal, The Guardian, furious at Trump's attempts to pull out U.S. troops in Syria, and producing a map to illustrate its point could only produce one single, uncertain, very short pen stroke to describe the minute strip of territory it claims ISIS still control the Iraqi border. Right, and so I found this map... As you can see, this is Syria. I always talk about Aleppo, right? And this is Assad forces. Okay, this is the Free Syrian Army. Mixed control right here. The Kurdish forces. Okay. U.S. Special Operations Facilities with all these red dots. And this is ISIS, a little strip of land. Okay. So Trump saying he, he his justification is that hey ISIS, the only reason why we're in Syria is because of ISIS, right? So I'm leaving. But it goes far deeper than that. Okay. It says of course the Guardian produces the argument that continued U.S. military presence is necessary to ensure that ISIS does not spring back to life in Syria. Yeah, that whole the media and so-called white man using ISIS as a boogeyman. No one gives a shit. No one really is afraid of, afraid of them, right? The fallacy of that argument can be easily demonstrated. In Afghanistan, the USA has managed to drag out the long process of humiliating defeat in war even further than it did in Vietnam, right? So the USA has managed to drag out a long process. Slovakia. Humiliating defeat in war, even further than Vietnam, right? Because after Vietnam, that's when you start seeing America fall, okay? Let me get this real quick. This is Job 20 and 5, 24. Knowest thou not this of old, since man was placed upon the earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite? Is but for a moment. That's right. Okay. America is no longer the only global superpower that can control the whole earth, all right? All the other nations have nuclear weapons now. All the other nations can get together and come against America, and that's exactly what they're doing. And that's the prophecy, okay? Though His Excellency mount up to the heavens and His head reach into the clouds, Yet he shall perish forever like his own dung, which have seen him say, where is he? Yeah, because in the 1960s, okay, the so-called white man was in his pomp. Okay, he was he was going out on his space expeditions. He, he claimed to land on the moon. Okay. So yeah, it looks like he it looks like you can't take him down, but then he went to Vietnam. And then in Vietnam, he couldn't win that war. 
Okay. You devils couldn't win that war. And it's the same thing in the Middle East. You can't win that war. Same thing in Syria. You're in Syria. You're in Iraq. You're in Afghanistan. You're not doing a damn thing there other than protecting the interests of the elites. Okay? They're drugs. Uh, in Secunder Burns, I trace how the battle lines of tribal alliances there today are precisely the same ones the British faced in 1841. We just attach labels like Taliban to hide the fact that invaders faced national resistance. The secret to ending the strength of ISIS in Syria is not the continued presence of American troops. It is for America's ever closer allies in Saudi Arabia and the Gulf to cut off the major artery of money and arms, which we should never forget in origin and for a long time had a strong U.S. component. The U.S.-Saudi-Israeli alliance against Iran is the most important geopolitical factor in the region today. It is high time this alliance stopped both funding ISIS and pretending to fight it. Schizophrenia is not a foreign policy stance. Yes, because when you break it down, you saw Trump making that big deal with MBS, Mohammed bin uh, Salman. He's the, the prince, royal prince of Saudi Arabia. Him and Trump were together. And he bought all kinds of weapons. And you always see that. Saudis always buy U.S. weapons. And you hear about these terrorist groups. They're all funded by the Saudis. And these terrorist groups all have American-made bombs. Wow, this, that's, is that a coincidence? No, it's, it's a, you can trace it all the way back to the source. And the source is Trump. Okay, And before him, it was Obama. Before him, it was the other devil. Right? Bush. Uh, before him, Clinton, and then Bush again. See, it's all the same guys. And then it goes back to Daddy Bush, who is the CIA director, creating this thing from the beginning. All right? So this America's stranglehold is, is hegemony. On the world is waning, okay? It's coming to an end. So... If this article, it goes deeper, I'll, I'll, I'll have the link in the description. The map is a good map because it shows you that, you know, ISIS is, you know, a, uh, we already knew. We already knew. Your brothers in the truth. We already know the so-called white man can create an enemy out of nowhere, right, to justify uh, his his wickedness, okay? So I'm going to go here in a couple scriptures of what's actually happening because uh, this guy, uh, Judge Mattis, this guy right here, uh, leaving Pentagon as chief after clashes with Trump. And when you look into why he left Trump, he said it's because he, he doesn't, he's forgetting who his allies are, you know? Meaning he's not doing what the so called Jew wants him to do or what these Edomite nations and, and the beast and NATO want him to do. But that's all prophecy because NATO. The EU, the UK, are they going to shoot missiles on America? All right, they're going to be, they're going to be with the Russians destroying this place. Okay, with the Chinese. And that's the time we're in. This is Job. to five yea the light of the wicked shall be put out and the spark of his fire shall not shine the light shall be dark in his tabernacle and his candle shall be put out with him the steps of his strength shall be straightened and his own counsel shall cast him down and that's what's happening to you so called white people alright the steps of your strength is, is straightened it's difficult for you to step in strength that's why you can't go into these nations like you used to before you just can't roll into Syria like you did in Iraq, like you did in uh, uh, Afghanistan. You, know, you can't roll into Iran like you did in Syria. You wouldn't even dare step foot in Syria, in Iran. Okay, why? Because the Most High has set up these other nations to come up against you, right? 
for he's cast into a net by his own feet. And he walketh upon a snare. Yeah, everything that the so-called white man is doing, specifically America, is a snare upon himself, okay? This whole, oh, this whole thing going on. I think I got it up here. I think they just passed it. Feinstein after her milling performance at the Kavanaugh hearing at Pelosi after the House passes five billion for the wall. Shame and guilt. All right, so I think they passed it. I'm not sure. Uh, trying to find. Let me see if they passed it yet. Well, what I do know is that the, the border wall, uh, I think I have it right here. The border wall raised uh, 10 million in four days. I do know that on GoFundMe. <laughs> Which shows you that America got the money to build a wall. You know, this whole government shutdown thing, it's all a bunch of BS, man. Okay, um, but back to the scriptures, right? It's mentioning that he's cast into a net by his own feet and he walked upon a snare. Yeah, everything you do, you spending billions of dollars on a wall. That wall is a snare upon you Americans. You Edomites, you want to pay for that wall? You want to pay for that wall? That wall is going to keep you locked in. It's not going to allow you to escape from the hell that's going to come upon this place. It's not going to let you leave. When the nations decide to shoot missiles on America, you're not going to be able to escape to Mexico. And the Mexicans, they don't want you to go to Mexico. It says, the jinn shall take him by the hill, and the robber shall prevail against him. The snare is laid for him in the ground, and a trap for him in the way. Terrors shall make him afraid on every side, shall drive him to his feet. His strength shall be hunger bitten, and destruction shall be ready at his side. It shall devour the strength of his skin. Even the firstborn of death shall devour his strength. His confidence shall be rooted out of his tabernacle, and it shall bring him to the king of terrors. And that's what's happening, man. All right, the so-called white man's strength is what? His, his his military might. Okay? It's hunger bitten. Okay? It shall devour the strength of his skin. Even the firstborn of death shall devour his strength. Everybody's going up against this devil, man. Okay? The Most High is sending out spiritual demons on him. And then at the end, he's going to have no confidence himself and he's gonna be right before the king of terrors and that's when the missile's gonna hit you all right and that's exactly what's happening the terrors are making you afraid on every side you're gonna to want to leave all these countries it's gonna to be too late man America's already overstretched it's already out of out of a uh, 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 it's, it's, it's influence it's global influence is waning okay and these other nations, your allies, your foes, your enemies, they're getting together to come up against you. This is Obadiah 1 and 7. All the men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee and prevailed against thee. They that eat thy bread have laid a wound under thee. There is none understanding in him. Right? And all the men that you're making these peace deals with, all right, they're deceiving you. Putin isn't your friend, all right? The Syrians, the UK, the Germans, the, the French, the, the, the beast, okay? NATO, EU, India, China, all these nations, they're going to bring you even to the border, man, for war. Right? They eat your bread. Yeah, they, they take your they take your government aid. 
but that government aid is is destroying this place okay because what's happening uh, all that government aid is going out and America's infrastructure is shit Ms. Cynthia McKinney said where's our infrastructure investment mr. president Moscow's metro's most beautiful stations right it shows you all these epic marble uh, metro stations right but in America if you go to uh, if you go to the Trans Bay terminal the thing no, that thing is supposed to be the uh, I think it's supposed to be, uh, I forget what they call it, the Penn Station of the West. It can't be stand on its own. They built it and now they gotta, they gotta shut down the street. It needs to be supported by hydraulic jacks. They gotta rent from a private company after spending over $2 billion. The thing's ugly, man. Okay. There's nothing classy about this thing. It's just a big hunk of metal. In a useless, useless space. No one can even get up there, man. What's the point of that? That's a wound on America, okay? They that eat thy bread have laid a wound under thee. There is none understanding in him. Yeah, and you devils, you don't even understand it. You're still proud, man. That's why you're gonna, your confidence is gonna leave you once the, you're you're brought, brought in front of the Most High. Okay. Jeremiah 49 and 7 concerning Edom, thus saith the Lord host, is wisdom no more in T man? Is counsel perished from the prudent? Is their wisdom vanished? Yeah. What's up, Edom? I thought you were, I thought the, the most high is, is mocking you. He's taunting you. The most high is all about the taunting proverb. Okay. That's that's what the most high operates. He said, hey, hey, Esau. Why have I thought you were so smart? You were big and bad. All your counsels. It says, flee, turn back, dwell deep, O inhabitants of Dedan. For I will bring the calamity Esau upon him. The time that I will visit him. If grape gathers come to thee, would they not leave some gleaning grapes? If thieves by night, will they destroy till they have enough? But I have made Esau bare, have uncovered his secret places. He shall not be able to hide himself. His seed is spoiled, and his brethren, and his neighbors, he is not. Leave thy father's children, and present them alive, and let thy widows trust in me. For thus saith the Lord, Behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have been surely drunken. And art thou he that shall altogether go unpunished? Thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink of it. For I have sworn by myself, saith the Lord, that Basra shall become a desolation, a reproach, a waste, and a curse. And all the cities thereof shall be perpetual waste. And that's beautiful, man. I'll keep going. I have heard a rumor from the Lord, and an ambassador is sent unto the heathen, saying, Gather ye together, and come against her, and rise up to the battle. Yeah, and the elder brother was bringing this up at the camp, I believe, about this past week. Or the week before, right? And those ambassadors keep coming, right? Uh, I believe one of them was Nas uh, Abdul Nasser of Egypt, okay? Uh, more recently, um, uh, that guy, Ab Ab Ahmadinejad, okay? And more and more are, get are getting up, trying to gather the heathen against you so-called white people to say, let's go and fight against America. Okay, the, that rumor came from the Lord. The Lord is putting spirit on these nations to say, you know what? It's, it's time to attack now. For lo, I make thee small among the heathen and despised among men. Thy terribleness hath deceived thee in the pride of thine heart, O thou that dwellest in the quest of the rock, that holdest the height of the hill, that thou shouldest make thy nest as high as the eagle. I will bring thee down from thence. Save the Lord. Mm -hmm. Because the so called white man, right, all the things he's doing right now is all, pro everything you're doing is all prophecy, okay? 
the Most High, He totally made you bare. Everything, everything you've done is, is known. You wrote it down yourself. All the atrocities that you've done to the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, the true Israelites, okay? And Israel just keeps on multiplying, man. And you devils, you devils keep going down. Israel keeps growing. More and more Israelites are keep are waking up. And you devils are losing more power, man. That's why you had to get out of Syria. Okay? And these other nations, what are they doing? They're getting together, man. They're cutting deals. They're ready to go to war. They're, 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 they're hashing it out on their side. So that when they come against America, they go as one. Okay? And that's what's going to happen to this place. So yeah, I just wanted to go into the scriptures, go into some of these articles. America's completely through. All right? It's not... It's power is gone. It's just a matter of time before the economic collapse happens and you see all hell break loose here in America. Okay? And with that, I want to give all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh Shemiel Shai Shemiel Kadash and Shalom.